But here it is, CP33, let's see how it fires. The sight picture is so easy to pick up with the green fiber optic front sight down below there. It is. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Keltec CP33. I saw this at SHOT Show, took one look at it and said, what the heck is that? Look at that. Has a goofy look to it with the, the back end just kind of floats way back. You know, you got a, a five and a half inch barrel. Wondering what, what's the purpose of all of this? Well, I learned a little bit more about it. The CP stands for Competition Pistol. 33 stands for the 33 rounds that are held in the magazine of 22 long rifle. It comes with what they call a quad stack magazine. And to remove the magazine, it's got a heel where you push in, not outward like in many cases. So you're just going to push in, grab the bottom of the base plate, and remove the magazine. And there it is. To give you a demonstration, or at least an observation, that's what it looks like fully loaded. 33 rounds, it's a quad stack, and it, it actually works very well. It takes a little longer to load than to shoot, no doubt about that, but it's not hard to just kind of push each round through and move your thumb as it loads, and then it just loads itself on each side. Very interesting design. Now, the reason this is the way it is is because this has no slide to it, all right? Most of the time we charge the slide. Here we have a charging handle with a bolt. See that? And the cool thing is this bolt is not uh, reciprocating or the charging handle is not reciprocating. So once you charge that the first time, that stays put. The bolt moves back and forth. That's why we have all of this real estate back here for the bolt to move back and forth as each round is fired. And, and I did take this to the range. I did a range review first and... It was a lot of fun, I have to say. So let me talk a little bit more about this because I think you'll like some of the things that are said. Already mentioned, 33 round magazine. You can see that it does have a thumb safety, ambidextrous, both sides there, all right? Here is not your slide release, but your bolt release, all right? So if I pull that back, I can release the bolt just like that. The Sight radius is nine inches, all right? Five and a half inch threaded barrel, nine inch sight radius. The overall length is 10 and a half inches. So this is not a small little gun. It's actually quite it large, but it's not that heavy. The upper is aluminum, the lower is polymer. And the trigger, I measure very light. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, I measured it the first time at three and a half pounds we'll go ahead and check it out and right there I'm looking at three pounds let's do that again just to make sure because it is a light trigger and once again three pounds so it measured between three and three and a half a couple times on video that was three pounds one of the things that I really enjoyed at the range was the sight picture it has fiber optic orange rear sight all right and that's what you're looking at it just kind of tails around that piece there to give you the orange and then a green or neon green front fiber optic sight and so here is what you are looking at i, I doubt that will pick up but it, it has a very nice sight picture and then of course the threaded barrel is nice as well on the dust cover here there is an m-lock slot that will allow a rail to be attached where you could put other accessories if you so choose all right but a very nice trigger pull 22 long rifle it performed very well at the range i i had a good time with it extremely accurate you, know, you think about nine inch sight radius five and a half inch barrel and 33 rounds you just can have so much fun with this great learning tool for a beginner so we'll go ahead and get this on the scale unloaded weight we get that out of the way one pound nine and three quarters ounces we move that to just ounces 25 and three quarters ounces but let's go ahead and put 33 rounds of 
22 in there. We're looking at 29 and a half ounces. Let's go ahead and disassemble the CP33. We'll first remove the magazine. Then we'll check clear. And then we'll lock the bolt back to get that out of the way. Now this pin needs to be punched all the way through. I do have the help of a punch to do that. I will mention the first couple times I had to use a hammer and just tap the pin uh, through because it is very tight. It does loosen up and right there I was able to get that pin out. We'll go ahead and drop the bolt and remove the lower receiver. Palmer lower receiver. All right, here's your hammer. And that's what you're looking at. Rather light. And here we'll go ahead and remove the charger and the bolt, buffer spring, firing pin, that assembly. And then here's what we're looking at for our upper receiver. All aluminum. Look at this. Look at that rail. Good grief. You can mount whatever you want to that. We'll go ahead and reassemble by putting this charger back and right in there we'll put the bolt and now what I find easiest to get this piece in is to pull back against that spring lessen up some of that tension and that will slide right into into the correct position and over here we'll just go ahead and assemble the rails make sure that is lined up grab our pin Push it through. And there you go. So there it is, Caltech CP33. It performed well at the range. I certainly enjoyed it. I noticed that online this is selling for over six hundred dollars. Yet the MSRP is four seventy five. So be careful. You know, I would wait until it becomes more available and pick it up for closer to its MSRP. There selling now for over six hundred dollars some are even closer to seven hundred dollars and that to me is some price gouging definitely a cool little pistol i think you guys would like it and i sure had fun with it at the range if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe